Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony and this is going to be your May general reading. Before I move on with it, if you do like the content that I'm creating and you are enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel. It will be greatly appreciated. And now, this reading is for anyone that has a placement in the sign of Capricorn, such as Ascendant, Sun or Moon. Also, please be aware, it's a general reading, take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest behind. The purpose of these readings is to really help you navigate through the month of May, alarm you about the main energies that you might found your, find yourself being influenced by, everything important that uh, you need to be aware of, so to speak. So. Let's have a look and in what May has in store for you, Capricorn. And the general energy for you in this period is the High Priestess in an upright position. Then you have Six of Swords in an upright position. Eight of Cups in upright position too, and Knight of Pentacles also in upright position. And then bottom of the deck for your right here, right now position, entering the month of May, it's actually the Hermit. And this is Virgo energy. Virgo energy to do with one... Uh, stepping in solitude in order to find their highest potential, in order to be aware of uh, what uh, uh, leads them in life, in any situation, or how to lead everybody else to a certain um, destination, so to speak. It's like you probably had a moment before this period, before May, in which you actually utilized the time to really dig within and find what is that you need, what is that you recognize as important, what is the ingredients of um, your inner world that are worth to be mm, presented to the outside world. Either way, this is um, a very specific uh, energy of someone that it's, uh, well, it's a leader, who is having, um, for example, um, time alone to figure out things about their leadership, things about their knowledge, things about their needs right here and right now. And um, since this is the third magician in Tarot, this is, um, let's say, it's a magical moment when you take this time for yourself, especially if you haven't done so before, and you get to this uh, reading and you hear this message, find the time to go in solitude within yourself. It's very important. There is certain magic happening and I'm repeating this because the overall energy for you in the month of May actually is presented by the High Priestess and this is another magic figure in the Big Arcana deck. It's um, the keeper of secrets, the person with a lot of knowledge. It's like, it's also because it's two, and uh, two is the feminine principle in life. Two uh, talks about you attracting information, uh, insights, you know, whatever you want to attract to your knowledge, in, to your awareness, to your intuitive approach. So, you have a lot of magic around you in this period to do with potential knowledge, leaderships, and how to uh, literally attract whatever you need to be presented around you in this period. And um, this is important to notice, actually. And then, looking at your cards, there is a lot of movement happening for you in the month of May. First, you need to be aware that um, Jupiter, planet of expansion, is changing signs around 16th, 17th of May. It's going to be moving from the sign of Aries, which for you, Capricorn rising, represents 
your fourth house but it's moving to the fifth house which is Taurus and since this is a sister sign it's going to be very beneficial for you Capricorn or the disposition of Jupiter and this is the great benefic in astrology it's going to be mm, supporting any points or planets that you have in the sign of Capricorn for the next one year starting middle of May and it's uh, lasting approximately up till the middle of uh, middle of May 2024 so a lot of support is coming your way and um, it's good for you to utilize the period that you can find for yourself to go through your priorities the wisdom that you gain the knowledge and how to utilize it in all order for you to lead yourself out of any mess of any trouble of any disappointment and i'm saying this because right in the center of your reading capricorn you have eight of cup eight of cups in the upright position and this by itself represents you living any situation that is not fulfilling you to the fullest anymore or haven't been fulfilling you to the fullest this means that there is some um living uh cutting off ties uh getting out of everything that it's really not satisfying you at this moment and this is also combined with the six of swords double indication for movement from a negative or toxic um, let's say um, a very unpleasant heavy energy moving out of it and uh, getting to a certain better position in the case of eight of cups this would be nine of cups which would be talking about you uh, having uh, an emotional uh, epiphany literally receiving great satisfaction of something that you have achieved by yourself so whatever is holding you down on an emotional level please be aware it's time to move energies are supporting you and not only that toxic relationships people like energetic vampires for example or companies structures companies of friends that are no longer providing you with um, let's say high vibration happiness good emotions they also need to be left away i also see that um, many of you capricorns actually because there is another card of movement many of you are going to be moving in the month of may and some of you are going to be moving through um, you know literally moving in place and time some others of you are going to be making let's say well like um, uh, daydreaming when you are actually uh, dreaming about certain place certain situation that you want to be there and you want to uh, experience but you're going to be moving on a mental level so to speak either way the night of pentacles is um, first this is your energy and whatever commotion on a mental or on an emotional level you might experience at the beginning of this period just know that um, more um, let's say down to earth grounded developments are going to be happening for you furthermore this month more to the end of the month knight of pentacles it's um, the energy of um, slow steady practical down-to-earth achievement and since i i really see you getting out of stressful situations and uh, emotionally um, unsatisfying ones as well the process is going to be although it's uh, one two three cards of movement uh, the process might be up and down but at the end just make sure that you make uh, solid steps and not hurry up for any improvement that you want to experience if it's a new company that you want to approach do it step by step work on your resume uh, get really in touch with your emotional needs with your emotional understanding of who you are now and what is it you exactly will um, find satisfaction in and uh, then make the step number two for example decide to leave or quit your existing job i'm just giving you an example it's a movement and improving of energy 
improving of energies in ways that uh, from turmoils, emotional setbacks, you actually solidify, so solidifying your position, making it much more grounded, down to earth. And um, this also signifies, this card signifies uh, progress. Steady progress, not it's not going to happen fast, for example, but it's going to be uh, most likely bringing you exactly where you want to go. This is, since this is the, one of the most successful energies to move forward. But again, little by little, step by step, one after another. It's like make sure that where you are now, you feel secure, emotionally secure or financially secure if you would like. And then make you know the second step don't take any chances with these energies because if you are first this energy doesn't um, suggest that you are in a rush but still there is a lot of commotion that you are going to be avoiding and um, just try not to overdo it that's what i'm trying to say be secure in yourself recognize the wisdom that you carry and nevertheless the magic that you carry the high priestess is literally the energy of um, someone who has the key between the visible and the invisible world so the answers in this case are within you and you can really search for them and uh, recognize them for yourself and of course decide what is more important than what why and how to proceed in order to get where you really want to be capricorn it's a lot of um mental emotional energy but by doing practical uh steps practical decision taking you know realistic uh, mm, mm, let's say uh approach realistic approach to the situation you're gonna get out of it with success that's what i'm trying to say so let's see what else is uh, happening for you in this period show me everything else that capricorn needs to know about the upcoming month of may everything important that will help them to determine what is really the highest potential that they try to reach and achieve show me everything that capricorn needs to be aware of also i forgot to mention the sign of taurus for you capricorn rising it's the fifth house the fifth house is the house of fun children uh having fun of course but it's also the house of creative self-expression and your private business uh, um, projects for example so you're gonna be having a huge support in that area let's see what else i can read for you in the month of may high priestess wow you're the first sign out of 10 this is the 10th reading that i'm doing that gets the sun capricorn you have the sun in upright position clarifying the high priestess in a very very supportive energy then six of swords is being clarified by seven of cups and then eight of cups is being clarified by king of pentacles and of course the knight of pentacles is clarified by the pope or the hierophant and three of cups is the final outcome for you in the month of may capricorn and may i just say wow first i sensed that for whatever reason many of you are occupied with uh, business uh, ideas business offers business um, it might be an invitation to join someone to do something new to really move forward with a business project but it's something to do with money making and it's something new that it's coming out of the stress out of the um, let's say out of the fog but still as i said your fifth house is going to be um, hugely empowered after 17th of may for a year so if you do have any 
certain particular, you know, specific idea about something that you want to uh, bring to the world. Again, one by one, little by little, one step after the other. Not everything all at once, but maybe you should consider to really make um, a move, so to speak, and um, either accept the offer, either join uh, this um, proposal, whatever that is, or either uh, decide if it's not really the time for you to make um, tangible actions towards this idea that you've had for a while, let's say. And then the High Priestess is clarified by the Sun. And this is the supportive position of uh, the energies, the sky, God, universe. And you have the Sun. This is a brand new awareness about any key information that you want to, mm, let's say, um, understand for yourself, utilize, or um, after you have an int intuitive approach about something, this is the clarification, this is the new awareness, this is the, aha, okay, now I understand, now I am enlightened, now I know what this is all about. Nevertheless, the sun is behind your back for the whole month of May. This literally indicates that you should be expecting growth, uh, moving forward in any area of your life. For the ones of you that are working for to have um, a child, this is also quite supportive in order for you to uh, have a child or children. Either way, the sun is talking about a brand new understanding empowered with the pure, clear consciousness, godlike energy, because the literally the sun represents God in our solar system. And so this together with any uh, insights, any uh, answers that you're looking for, well, most likely you're going to get very clear on whatever is um, of interest for you at this point, let's say. But this is good health, abundance, all of those things are coming your way. And um, the support to have such abundance and uh, positive developments is going to be all around you, Capricorn. And not only that, if you decide to travel and literally physically move in uh, place and time, so to speak. It might be the next city, the next country, the, 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 you know, the, neighbor, the neighboring state. Just know that this is going to bring you a lot of um, development and a lot of choices for you to pick up, to uh, really make a choice, to make a new emotional approach to a situation. It's um, as much as you move this period, especially out of... Uh, negative vibrations and negative energies, more op more choices and opportunities you're going to be opening for yourself just by moving and just by cutting ties with what is holding you down. It's like, I it, there is no bird here or anything, but I feel it's like, if you allow yourself to really mm, show the middle finger to everything and anyone that it's not supporting you, not uh, mm, being, um, you know, in uh, alignment with you, you're gonna fly, you know, you're gonna get this uh, uh, sense of you being free and fly on top of anyone and anything. This is the energy that I'm getting from these two cards. And together with the Eight of Cups, of course, it, we are talking about you receiving much emotional satisfaction, or at least not suffering from disappointments. And King of Cups, on top of any decision for you to live emotionally unbearable uh, situations. Well, this is you. And this is you at your best. What I really appreciate Capricorn for is this is the sign that has the bows to always stand up for themselves. This is the sign that it's like, like, like if you... Mm, for whatever reason, don't like me, well, that's your problem. I know what I want, I know how to get it. In this case, you might decide to compensate some of um, uh, this um, new uh, 
opportunities that are coming uh, your way because there are opportunities coming your way with the sun it might be a business offer it might be a emotional offer either way you're gonna act in your own vibration you're gonna consider the things that are important for you right here right now and uh, this together with the fact that you're leaving all trouble behind it's talking about you stepping on a much more solid ground and really um, let's say coming back back at your best vibration so to speak and um, this is your wisdom these are your resources but nevertheless you might have a very powerful alignance in the month of may capricorn someone that is on the top of certain structure of power it might be a business executive it might be a um, judge in a in the court in the justice system this is just an example but someone very powerful might be appearing for you to support you and i'm saying this because the hierophant is the card of taurus and remember what i told you jupiter is moving to taurus and jupiter usually or sometimes represents a great benefic and since a great benefic the great benefic itself the planet is moving to the sign of taurus i will, wouldn't be surprised if uh, a very mm, let's say i wouldn't like to say powerful but someone with a lot of uh, uh, strength and uh, in a position of power can really be next to you to support you and uh, some of you might find this person uh, around this new offer around this new proposal around this new invitation to join whatever company whatever project whatever you know new money making mechanism might be appearing for you more to the end of the, the month of may it's like all this hard work destroying the mental ties to uh, disappointments emotional such all of this is as i said are gonna be helping you to open your wings and really fly above everything that was previously holding you down with a lot of positive vibration and huge understanding about the potential that you carry with it with you and in that matter the potential that might be appearing in all other developments and just look at the end if you are not happy at the beginning of this period for sure there are going to be results for you in this time of the month of may because at the end of the period i see you gathering with people and celebrating so some achievement or the fact that you're on the right track on the right path to success abundance development and nevertheless you're out of anything that it's really holding you down so capricorn this is what i have for you this period thank you for your time